Hi everybody, welcome to Educational Byte installment number 020 presented by Acorn Internet Services. My name is Annie Buck. I am the Pre-Development Minor Development Project Manager for Acorn Internet Services. And today's Educational Byte is going to be how to access your page with the new Facebook interface. A lot of people woke up this morning. It is Friday, February 11th, 2011 and found out that Facebook had changed again and that the Facebook pages were a lot different. So today we're not going to really talk about all the differences in Facebook. There are blogs about that all over the place that you can go out and find. But today we're going to just talk about how do I get to my page? How do I go and access my page? And so all we're going to do is we're going to go out and we're going to log into Facebook. And that'll take you to your, oh boy, let's get past all this. Um, take you to your Facebook page and what you're going to do is you're going to go up here to the upper right hand corner and click account just like you always did but then instead of manage pages you're going to see a line that says use Facebook as a page and when you do that you're going to click that and then it's going to open the little thing like it always did the little pop-up and you're going to see the maple leaf in and then you're going to see the word switch. So you're going to click that. That's going to take you to your page. You're going to notice it looks a little bit different. Now we don't have our tabs across the top anymore. Our tabs are over here. And we're going to also see that um, to get to the information, say you want to go edit your um, your page information or edit one of your apps or something like that, you're not going to go over here under your picture anymore. You're going to go up here under your name and click Edit Info. And then you'll see all this information over here, your settings, your apps. You want to add um, admins or delete admins. You do that right here. All right, so let's go back to the page. Um, another thing that you'll notice is that if you are sitting here on this page and you go out and look at another website, or I'm sorry, another Facebook page, say for instance Acorn Internet Services you go out and like that page and go look at it you can now comment as the Maple Leaf Inn in this case rather than as your personal self until this morning, you weren't able to go out and um, do, you know, when you posted, it was always as yourself. You can see here, um, Deborah McNeil Howard posted it as herself. Now you can post as a page. So that's really cool. That's a new thing you can do. So let's go back to the Maple Leaf Inn. Um, you can do your same posting that you always did. Your feeds will still work. Um, one thing that I have noticed is that blog feeds done with RSS graffiti like this one will not go out to Twitter. They won't publish to Twitter. So what you're going to see is that your things like coming soon the Maple Leaf and blog, things where you've posted directly onto Facebook will feed out to your Twitter feed that you do with your Facebook page updates to Twitter. Um, but anything that you're feeding in with RSS graffiti is not going to feed out there. And that's another interesting thing. So say I say, well, okay, I want to share this on Twitter. Look what it does. It's telling me I have to continue as Mike Boyle is the owner of this page rather than as the Maple Leaf Inn. So if I want to tweet this, I have to go in as Mike and do that. So that's another difference um, from yesterday. Again, this just happened today and it's different. So anyway, that is how you are actually able to go in, get to your page on Facebook, and um, a few of the little differences about how you access the things that you used to access. Thank you so much for joining us for today's Educational Bite presented by Acorn Internet Services.